Okay, so I'm just going to show you how you would set up a Kyocera printer, whether it's plugged in on the network or if it's plugged in with a USB cable. I'd honestly prefer using a network cable over USB. They just uh, seem to perform a little bit better and they're a little bit more reliable than USB. So first thing I need you to do is go through to dbsk.co.za. And once that page is loaded, you can click on latest driver right here at the top. That'll then start the download for the drivers. Once those are finished and downloaded, you can then uh, just uh, wait for it to finish there 100%. And just click on that so that it opens it up as soon as it is finished. Okay, there we go. It's busy opening that. Okay, there we go. It's brought up that folder. Now, if we just go into that folder, click on the English folder. I scroll right to the bottom, you'll see setup.exe. If we can just uh, double click on that, it will then bring up the driver installation window. Just say yes to that. Just accept that. And if you do have any older versions of the Kaiser drivers for any of the other machines installed on your computer already, you can easily upgrade them. I would recommend upgrading them. There's always some new features and bug fixes that come with uh, newer versions. So to do that, we just click on upgrade. Just tick the models that you want to upgrade. And there you can see the new version is 7.5 and the version that is currently installed is 7.4. So you can just click on upgrade over there. That'll then upgrade the drivers. Shouldn't take too long, depending on the computer that you're using. Okay, there we go. That's done. And now you'll see the upgrade is uh, no longer there. So all the drivers that are installed on the computer are the latest versions and they're up to date. So if I wanted to install a new printer, I can just click on Express Install over there. Now you can see I've got quite a few printers on my network. I just select the printer that I want to install. That model, it's, uh, let's just install that one for now. You can then tick the drivers. Obviously, make sure that the KX driver and the fonts are ticked. If you don't want the little pop-up on the bottom corner to say that the printer is sort of printing or it's out of toner or if there's an error or something like that, if you don't want that little pop-up, you don't need to install it. You can just untick it over there. Just going to leave it on and click install. You can just say yes to that. It's just uh, collecting statistical information about uh, any sort of issues on the printer. Okay, there we go. So now you'll see the printer. We can set the printer to automatically print double-sided just to sort of save ink paper the environment so you can set that setting here if you don't want to have that setting enabled as defaults you can just untick it over there we can always change that a bit later but uh, you can leave that on and then if you wanted to you can tick here to just print a test page i don't need to print a test page right now and then i can click finish and there we go that's the printer installed